I'm Schmitty, and according to my guidance counselor, this is the only job I'm qualified for. Just a friendly reminder, any player caught using quip-enhancing drugs will receive an asterisk next to their record. Here's round one. Two prompts will appear on your device, which you can answer in any clever or not clever way you want. Everyone will choose between your answer and someone else's, and decide who wins. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it! Almost out of time. Use the safety quit button if you have to. Okay, I hope you all made me proud. First up, a bad thing to hear after yelling hello into a deep cave. Okay, everybody pick your favorite. Next in the hopper, a little known but fun moment at the Last Supper was when blank. And vote. Moving on, a good name for a very cheap brand of whiskey. Get to voting. Next up, the worst picture to see framed in your grandmother's house. Float away. Next one, how you know a coworker had sex on your desk. Okay, vote.
listen hard, you'll hear a seashell say this. Put in your votes. That's it. Let's see the scores for round one. Now round two, where all points and bonuses are doubled. Oh, the drama. Let's get to it. First one, a group that no tour bus driver ever wants to have assigned to their bus. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Call solitary confinement, so it doesn't sound so bad. It's voting time. Johnny Depp would probably bring to your party. Vote now. Next, the perfect thing to say to get rid of door-to-door -door solicitors. Ready, set, vote!
useful left-handers are better at. Vote on your devices. Shop. Time to vote. That's all for round two. Light up that scoreboard. <laughs> We've made it to round three, the last lash. Focus up because you're all answering the same prompt. Invent the full phrase that goes with this acronym. Okay, soak it in. In the final round, you can give out one gold, one silver, and one bronze medal to your top three quips. Make them count. Okay, who's taking home some medals? Bronze. Here's the silver. And the gold. Now we transform those medals into points. We did it, you guys. Let's go to the scores.
I'm your host, Schmitty. My voice is included with your purchase of this game at no extra charge. Is that everyone? Huh. No, it's fine. You guys will do. Time for round one. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Running out. Use a safety quip if you need it. These better be good. The first prompt is how you can spot a counterfeit Rolex. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. children. Ready, set, vote! Your 
next prompt is a text message that Jesus sends at 3 a.m. Okay, vote. is a very lonely Saturday night is just sitting on the couch with blank. It's voting time. Up next, a weird way to keep your ears warm. Okay, next one. A good use for 50 gallons of bacon grease. Put in your votes. Washington's biggest complaint about having wooden teeth. Float away. Next in line, a dangerous thing for a drone to deliver to you. Vote now. That's round one. Let's take a look at the scores. Oh, wow. Onward to round two. Remember, all points and bonuses are doubled.
free. Hit the save and quit button if you can't think of something. Let's put up those quips. Starting things off, what Abe Lincoln probably called having sex. Okay, pick your favorite. How did the ghosts in Pac-Man die? Vote on your devices! being an 1800s fur trapper. And vote. one, a new traffic law that really needs to happen. Get to voting! Up next, something creepy to hear a kid say. Okay, vote. stands for in Ulysses S. Grant. Vote on your devices. is a word that shouldn't come before jerky. It's voting time. make a teacher laugh during roll call. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's all for round two. Let's see where the points went. Welcome to the last lash, the final round. There's just one prompt and you're all getting it. Make up a phrase that goes with this acronym. Okay, let's go to the board. Pick your medal winners now. is killing me. Let's see who got those medals. Bronze. Bring out the silver. And now the gold. Let's translate that into points. That's it. Let's take a look at the final scores.
Wake up! Hey, welcome to Trivia Night! A gauntlet of pain and judgment. But it's also a great place to learn some good cocktail party facts. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. And you can always be in the audience, it's just as deadly. But enough of me jawing on, let's get to the game. All right, first question. Not to brag, but people say I'm the Brian Wilson of eating in bed. Which of the following is not one of the locations mentioned in the lyrics of the Beach Boys song, Kokomo? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, let's go someplace fun. Welcome to the killing floor. We're going to play the finger cutting game. My collection is running a little low. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. It's real cut and dry. Get it? Aim for the tendon. <laughs> Remember, the donation of your finger is tax deductible. And here's how everyone stacks up early in the game. But you're all number one to me. Here's another one. Which rock is classified under igneous? ask you a question. Answer very carefully. What's the cleverest Halloween costume? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. everyone gets to vote. I want you to pick the answer that you hate the most. The person who wrote the answer with the most votes will die. Seriously, vote for the answer that sucks. The votes are in. Worry, this work is just ahead of its time. So, I just killed you and you're totally a ghost now. But don't go into the light just yet. Ghosts can still win. Death is not the end. Here's how the standings are. Uh, standing. 
Let's try another one. Careful. This next question involves semen. Where is the poop deck? Time for the three R's. Ripping, revulsion, and arithmetic! Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. If you do the worst, you die. Time to get your math on! Keep shining, you beautiful diamonds! We're almost done! Uh-oh! Oh no! Now you're a math ghost! Let's try this again. Spoiler alert! In Peter and the Wolf, who gets eaten by the wolf? someplace fun. Now I'd like you to make some art. Your life depends on your doodle. Warm fuzzy feeling. Draw this thing as best as you can and press send when you're finished. Everyone gets to vote. Pick the drawing that you hate the most. It feels good to tear others down. Pick the drawing that makes you go, uh, no. No, sir, I will not have any of that. The votes are in. Time to punish the artist. That was almost as painful as your drawing. I have a message for all you haters out there. I get it. I totally get it. Next question. In what city would I find Piccadilly Circus? Yes. Prepare for your 
well, well, there seems to be a pile of money on the floor. And it's organized just how I want it. Take as much money as you want, but take the most money or the least money, and you'll be sorry. Get to grabbing. Let's see just how greedy you little monsters are. Uh-oh! The most greedy and least greedy must be punished. Is the social commentary a little too on the nose? <laughs> Alright, next question. Artist Cassius Marcellus Coolidge's painting, A Friend in Need, features... this money just sitting here for anyone to take? Here's how this is going to work. If no one takes the money, no one dies. But if you do take the money, I'll kill everyone who didn't. There's one catch. If you all take the money, then you all die. Stop, collaborate, and listen. Okay, who did what? This is my favorite way for this game to end, with everybody dying. The whittling down to just one player has finally come to fruition. Let's do this. It wasn't easy making it here alive, and it won't be easy to escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Instruction in the cha-cha slide. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If the ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Almost done. Masters Tournament winners. Anytime today, kiddo. Can you stay out of the shadows? 
simple machines. Here's another one. Left-handed pictures. <laughs> 
Hi! The party's downstairs. Come on in.
Why are my keyboard and desk chair covered in bird droppings? Anyone? Oh yeah, Agent Squawkington was in today for a deep. I hear you. Good for him. Doesn't explain why he took a dump on my station. Don't worry about it, man. Well, it Trust me, don't make a scene. Easy for you to say. You don't have to sit in Falcon. All right. But I don't mind sitting in this Falcon mess. See? Actually pretty comfortable. Attention Sector 5 interns, the toilet cam is in need of cleaning. Deep cleaning. High five! Agent Hawthorne, if you could, act naturally and report to observation. What does that mean? That's the alarm that goes off when the world's man bun population has eclipsed 15%. What do we do? We head to the basement and we wait it out. Okay, everybody, file out in an orderly manner. Remain calm. Hello? Hey, Dave, it's Brian. I'm at home sick today. Could you log on to my terminal real quick? Sure thing. What's your password? Brian. Your name is your password? Well, yeah, but it's spelled B-R-I-O-N. <laughs> Are you serious? That can be hacked in 11 nanoseconds. Uppercase N, and then lowercase E, smiley face, frowny face, laughing out loud face, and registered trademark sign. That'll work. Foolish humans. Reminder to all agents that once you attach a piece of surveillance equipment below your waist, you are free to keep it or burn it. Please do not return it to my desk. Three, two, one. Attention all. Hello from the government. Feel free to wave. We're watching everything. People eating ice cream, ice cream eating people, you name it. This is very sensitive info we've sworn to protect. <laughs> Sorry, hard to say that straight. We use it to play... Gespionage! Let the Gespionage begin! Who's up first? I hear you. Let's see, what would be good? How about this? What percentage of people have flown kites in the past year? Give it your best guess. You get more points the closer you come to the actual percentage. Got it. 60%. Everyone else, do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? You can also double down and guess much higher or much lower if you think the guess is off by 15% or more. High five! Everyone is saying lower. Now let's get to the right answer. 8%! You gotta be within 30% of the right answer to get points. Sorry, not sorry. Who said lower? Well done, you get points. As for you, good job. Double points for saying much lower. Who's next? Typey, typey. What percentage of people have slept on waterbeds at least once? Fifty percent. 
everyone pick, higher or lower. High five! I hear you. It's unanimous again. And Surveil says... 74%! Let's see if any of you have sprung a leak. Is this thing broken? No, you were all just wrong. Next up... Alright, Surveillance Pro, what do you have for this? What percentage of people take their Oreos apart before eating them? Sixty-four percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? High five! Everyone says higher except for one of you. Okay, right answer is... 46%! It's true, there really are two kinds of people in the world. Let's see who got it right. Ooh, points for you! Okay, who's up next? Uh, I don't know, how about... What percentage of people have binge-watched entire seasons of a TV show in one day? A day they'll never get back. Ninety percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? High five! One of you thinks it's higher. And Surveil says... 78%! Thanks for helping me kill an entire Sunday, Netflix. Who got it right? Well done. You get points. Next up... High five! Oh, here's one we've been especially interested in. Don't ask why. What percentage of people have worked on farms for at least one day? Twenty-eight percent. Okay, higher or lower? Most of you are saying higher, and the correct answer is... 41%! And no, working at a food co-op in Brooklyn doesn't count. Let's see who got it right. Nice job, I've got some points for you. Who's next? Alright, I have a good one. What percentage of people do not poop anywhere other than their own homes whenever possible? Any time now. 81%. What do you all think? Higher or lower? Just one of you is saying higher. 
Okay, let's see the right answer. 54%! Some people live by this rule even when they travel abroad. That's commitment. Who got it right? Here's some points! It's time for the final round. By hacking hundreds of cell phones, we found the most popular answers to this question. Which Tom Hanks movie do people love most? The data's in. But only the top three answers will get you points. Good luck! All three of your picks. Let's see what answers you chose. Okay, computer, show us the most popular answer. And the winner is... I hear you. Foolish. High five! Congratulations! You seem to know everyone's secrets. Remind me never to cross you.